Welcome back to the Gravity Golf Channel. I'm your host, Daniel Lee. Today, we're going to be talking about finishing your golf swing like Gary Player, adding that walkthrough to it, and learning how to get all the power that you can out of your shots in the most natural manner possible. Stick around, we'll be right back. Today we are blessed to be here at the top of Glassy Mountain. This is an incredible golf course with spectacular views. At one time ranked number two most scenic course in the country, right behind Augusta National. It's fantastic. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. And today we're going to show you how to move through your shots, how to get all the power you can. There was a man named Gary Player that was notorious for walking through his shots. Now this man was not the tallest guy you've ever seen. In a good relation, you might call him the Muggsy Bows of golf. But he was able to do some incredible things. And you see this often where golfers, when they hit shots, they really just get into their zone and all of a sudden they just come through and they're fervently walking towards their shot. Now amateurs, pros alike, we can all gain something from this because of all the benefits, all the natural things that occur when we focus on walking through our shots, it creates this natural momentum. We're using gravity. We're able to get this kinetic energy flowing in the direction that we want to go. And it simplifies the whole process. Because this ball is sitting still, and typically what we all do is want to move right up next to it. It's like trying to break a door down with our nose right up against it. We need to be able to feel that we can move into our shots. So what I challenge you to do is get out there, put your mind on walking towards your target. Forget about the ball. Just focus on whatever happens that you end up walking through and you'll start learning the timing of how that fits into the swing if that becomes the most important thing. A good friend of mine that plays a lot of one-armed golf out of necessity calls it getting a good towards. Thank you, Xander. And I like that turn of phrase. It's just getting a good towards, moving towards your target, getting really zeroed in. And when you feel that, everything else has a purpose. So without any further ado, I am going to zero into my target and I'm gonna walk right through this, just like Gary Player did. That's pretty flush. I think I had a little much club that went a little farther than I intended. That's one of the things you'll notice too is how much power this creates. It's easy power. When you can feel how to just move yourself right on through your shots, what else is there really? I mean, you see that's nipped off the turf. I mean, there's no divot here whatsoever. It's just a slight graze of the contour. If you can get up here and feel how to move through your shots, you can get everything moving in the direction you intend. It takes all that pressure out of your back. What happens is everyone ends up putting that golf ball so far back in their stance that it's impossible most of the time for them to be able to feel comfortable and move through it. So another way to make this easier, give yourself some space, move it up here towards your, your front foot. Give yourself some room like this. Think Mo Norman. You know, you want to have room to break down that door. You don't want to start off over here. You got to have room to get yourself going. So think Gary Player. You know, uh, there's so many other people. Justin Thomas did this a ton in one season. A few seasons ago when he won a whole bunch. Uh, that famous shot of, of Sergio when he's running up the hill. They're moving through their shots. And walking through your shots gives you intention. Use it, use it to your benefit. Just allow yourself to focus on where you wanna go. Just think about walking straight on through, right towards that place of intention. What else is there really to worry about? If you can move you towards the target, you just start figuring out the rest of it. So this is the only sport where the ball is sitting still, but you gotta realize that 
you are not intended to sit still. If someone tells you to hold your legs in one spot, try and stay still over the ball, they're coming at it from a perspective that is not about applying kinetic energy. It's not about getting things freed up. You gotta clear your mind. You gotta shift your perspective so you can start focusing on getting everything moving right on through. Let's do that one more time. Now one of the things that you can also work on here is if you start noticing that you're moving through your shots and they start ending up going to the right a little bit, just move that ball farther forwards in your stance. Because as you start clearing better, as you start moving more up on top of that front side, that means that the ball is technically farther back in the swing. And if you watch the video on dynamic alignment, you'll understand that the direction your ball goes actually has to do with where your weight is at the point of impact. So we know that we want to be moving into our shots. So make sure that that ball is far enough forward so that you can move into it and have your alignment where you want it to go. Thank you very much for watching. It's a pleasure to be able to bring this to you. Please subscribe, like our channel, share it with your friends. You know, this is, this is natural motion. This is just about getting yourself to feel how to move yourself from one place to the next. Setting an intention and allowing yourself to go there. We have, a, we have a great curriculum that we created called the Gravity Golf Challenge. This will take you step by step all the way through to a very high level. It will take you to a scratch golfer or better. You just have to put in the time, create the right kind of environment, and allow yourself to thrive. Thank you very much. We'll see you again very soon.